My first wow experience with food, I think it was at a bar mitzvah when I was around 13 years old. And I had my first uh, piece of fried calamari. I asked the waiter, I said, what kind of onion rings are these? They're really delicious. And he says, it's not an onion ring, it's squid. And my eyes just like lit up and I, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I tasted it and it was just like, uh, my whole world had changed. As I cook, I love telling the story. I think that's really something that's very important, that there's a history there and a story behind it. I feel like that allows you to really connect with people and make sure that the food not only tastes good, but also means something. <laughs> I was born in Batyam, which is a town that is just south of Tel Aviv. When I was uh, four years old, my mother and my sister and my father and I moved to Philly and. Uh, that's where I grew up. But my grandparents stayed in Israel, so we would go back pretty regularly to visit them. As I got older, I really started to discover like what a rich culinary history that there is there. So uh, that really kind of opened up my repertoire of cooking into a whole other angle. The preparation that we're gonna be making today with the labna is using coconut yogurt and letting that drain in the refrigerator so that it really intensifies in flavor, removes some of that water content, and that's gonna make a really delicious parfait for breakfast. So one of my earliest memories of cooking was coming home and seeing my grandmother uh, straining yogurt through a cheesecloth tied up on the faucet in the sink and she would leave it there all night. Anyone that would know to take yogurt and tie it up and hang it up overnight was like some type of like mad culinary genius. I just thought that she was like the greatest chef in the world. When you do it, you realize that you can get this uh, incredible product out of something that you're so used to. It's a dish that's really stuck with me because it has so many different uses and can be used in so many different ways. I, I think about sustainability a lot as a chef. I mean, I think it's such an important part of the work that we do. I can get several lives out of one dish. I think that you can like always think of creative ways to take one ingredient and kind of transform it into something else. One thing that you can do with the coconut labna is take all of that coconut water that comes out and you can use that as a brine by adding a little bit of salt and sugar to it. And then that you could marinate anything that you'd like I and mean, it would add a really great flavor to it. Prior to becoming a chef, I thought about food just from what I like to eat. And then after becoming a chef, I started thinking about food from where it came from and what it was all about and who eats it. Israel means something so much to me because that's where I was born and that's the food that my grandmother and my grandfather would prepare for us growing up. And now it's something that I, I can't imagine not making hummus or pita bread on a regular basis.